What's up, high levelers? It's Andrew, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can send a bulk SMS via the contacts page within High Level. This is gonna be really useful if you're running SMS campaigns and want to send one single SMS, whether it's in all at one time or in a batch or scheduled. I'm gonna show you how to do all of it right now, so let's dive right in. So from our contacts page in our sub account, the first thing that we're going to do is apply a filter to just look at all of our contacts that have phone numbers associated with them. This is an extra step, but it's gonna help us stay organized later on. We can do this by looking up phone and then making sure that phone is not empty and then click apply in order to only view contacts that have phone numbers. Now what we're going to do in order to bulk send this list, we can apply other filters if we want, maybe tags or sorting by custom fields. However, we're actually looking for the exact subset of our contacts list that we wanna send out. But for this case, we're just gonna send it out to everyone that has a phone number. We're going to click the checkbox in the left-hand side. That's going to select all of the records and then click select all records. Then once we've done this, we're going to click the little send SMS button in the top bar. Once we click this, we'll be able to confirm that we're proceeding by sending this SMS to the following contacts. If you have multiple phone numbers associated with your sub account, like this one does, then you can select the phone number that you're going to be using like this. Then you can put in your message or select from an SMS template. For example, we can type our message here or we could choose from our SMS templates in order to select an SMS template that maybe uses custom values or things like that. Additionally, if we want to add in custom values, we can select the little tag icon on the right hand side in order to add in fields. For example, let's say name, we'll include the name in this message. We can also add in links or attachments like this. And then we can also add in emojis from this screen by selecting them via this screen right here. Once we've got our message configured, then what we can do is we can select to either send all of these messages at once, send them at a scheduled time, which in order to do this, we'll just select our start date. So for example, we'll do today at 6 p.m. It will send all of these at this date, or we can send them in drip mode. In drip mode, we'll still have to select a start date and then a batch quantity. So let's say we're going to send them in batches of five. We're going to be doing, let's say five every hour. So we're going to say repeat after one hour. We can do this on any time period we really want. So we can do one hour, maybe we want to do one day, maybe we want to send one every 60 minutes, anything like that. That's how you edit the batch editor. And then we can also select which days we're going to send them on. So let's say only weekdays, and then we can add in our process between hours, which is optional. So let's say we want to send them out during business hours. We can say start from 8 a.m. and end at 5 p.m. just like this. Now that's how you send in those three different modes. What we're going to do is just do a send all at once to keep this simple. We'll add in an action name. So we'll call this test and then we'll click send SMS. Now, once we do this, it'll let you know that your bulk action has been scheduled and you can click here in order to check the progress. That is going to take you to the bulk actions page. If we click okay and then go to the bulk actions page, this is where we'll be able to see that bulk operation right here. There's that test. You can see bulk SMS, it's been completed. We can see our statistics here by clicking show stats and it'll show us how many were attempted, how many were sent and how many were skipped. And we can view even more details on this screen here. If you have any questions about sending a bulk SMS through the contact screen, then refer to the rest of the help doc. But as always, thank you so much for watching.